Look, the first time I heard it because it just was like profound and meaningless at the same time. <laughs> it's called It Could Be the Coffee. It could be the coffee, fourth shot of espresso, but right now I'm buzzing, caught up in it, accomplishment, high on the poetry of it, this thing that I've built. Remember this feeling when there's nothing forthcoming. If I fight through the beauty, I'll get there again. Finding the right words, only part of the story. Getting the feeling, going to that place. Deep is the digging, long is the pondering, hewing from the face. I'll go there again, I'll go there again. Finding the beauty, I'll go there again. Wallow in it, revel in it, smooth through this, be here, kiss of the muse is incredibly near, saturate my heart, goddess, and wish me such bliss, poetic reflectiveness, edge to yes, it could be the coffee, fourth shot of espresso, but right now I'm buzzing, caught up in accomplishment, high on the poetry of it, this thing I just built, I'll go there again. I'll go there again, finding the beauty, I'll go there again. Thank you. And uh, I really have to say thank you to everyone uh, who, who shared pieces of Adrian's tonight. Um, I really just kind of, honestly, some people messaged me to say they were coming to poetry and I was like, hey, what do you think uh, about this idea? <laughs> Because uh, I asked Adrian, or I asked Heidi for some of Adrian's poetry, and she sent me a gaggle of it, um, which I felt really grateful that you would entrust so much of the work. I thought you would pick a couple and be like, maybe just try these. Uh, but she sent me like 16 of them, and I was like, I can't possibly do all of them. But what if I recruit help from people? Uh, that might be something that I can do. Uh, this is a piece that I. Uh, I was going to say thank you to Lee, because I couldn't possibly pull off the sexy Eskimo woman. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not my style. Um, but I thought it was funny. I like wordplay. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to literally cut this piece into almost nothing. And because I really just want to share a quick sentence from it. But it's called Dying Tonight. Uh, and it's basically about bombing on stage and a bunch of bad jokes. Uh, so I wanna just give you some of those bad jokes because who doesn't like bad jokes? <laughs> <clears throat> it starts off with uh, the chicken shouted across the road to the other chicken saying, how did I get to the other side of the road to which the other one reckons you are already at the other side of the road. <laughs> That's pretty, you know, you on you. Uh, but back to death. This piece is called Dying Tonight. Back to death. Well, here is my death wish. I want to die peacefully in my sleep, like my grandfather did. Not screaming and terrified like his passengers did. <laughs> this is survivalist. This is humor. <laughs> Appropriate. We are drowning in it. My friend died. His name was Bob. He was swimming. My pal drowned, and for the funeral, we brought him a floral wreath in the shape of a life vest. I mean, it is what he would have wanted. <laughs> what is really needed is good, good news. Too late for me, though. It's all about dying. It's all about bad news. I've seen the headlines. Don't shout it. Corduroy pillows. Headlines. Suicidal twin kills sister by mistake. Don't worry, I've been to the doctors. A guy looking downcast was leaving on my way in. What's happening? You're looking so glum. Well, it's what the doctor said. Go on, go on. Well, he said to take a pill a day for the rest of my life. Good heavens, why does that give you strife? Well, he's only given me seven. 
Don't start me on doctors. Doctor, doctor, it's, I think it's curtains. Oh, pull yourself together, nihilistic, non-optimistic, no heaven, we all go. Your life ends, you die, you go. <laughs> Not that I'm planning to yet. Just yet. In fact, a mate popped by and told me he had bubonic plague, and I said, ah, don't give me that. <laughs> St. Peter, don't you call me, because I can't go. I've got thousands more jokes like this, you know, dying with laughter. They say that every time you act like an absolute pill up your life clock and heaven whizzes around an hour and if that's your plan then you won't see mine because it's in God's office, he uses it as a fan. These jokes are immortal, I am, I can't die. Well, tonight I might, at this stage I've died so many times before, Jesus, he made a comeback. Cross your legs now, we've only got one nail left. What a way to spend Easter. Peter, you can see my house from here. Heaven can wait. As I said, Adrian just has a really particular sense of humor, so if you didn't appreciate that,
Rises by Adrian Spindle. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like an hour and 45 minutes long, so we're not going to play the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it is available for you to listen and or download it for free um, on Bandcamp. And uh, what I'll probably do is maybe take the link and post it in this event so that you guys can take a look at it. But there's a couple things I wanted to share with you. From that, I kind of cut up some parts of that. I really, I can't think of another word other than epic. It is an epic in the, in the light of the Iliad and the Odyssey and, and Homer, worthy. So I'll just show you a few clip, few quick clips that we made for promo, um, because I would love for you guys to check it out. And I think that if you're here and you enjoy this, then you would enjoy the storytelling um, that takes place in the boat rises. This is a good one. It would be if I turn the volume on. Sorry, these cables. I don't think anyone from the art garage is here anymore, but this cable is a 